And welcome back to Eyewitness News today. It is 516. We are waking up dealing with some flooding issues, power problems, debris. We did have strong storms overnight. Let's get right to meteorologist David Carnes. He was here tracking it all. David, what are some of the worst areas? Uh, yeah, well, we've got to, most likely we've had tornado damage from a number of different spots, and I'll rattle off the counties that, from which we've had reports of tornado damage. Chattooga County, Bradley County, Eastern Bradley County, Southern Walker County, uh, Hamilton County, and uh, Brat uh, Murray County, also Murray County, some tornado damage being reported there. So I suspect that we will, uh, after the National Weather Service comes in, does some surveys, that we will see have seen at least four tornadoes on the ground just based on the radar data that we saw uh, during the last night and during the overnight. Now, now what we're left with is after anywhere from one and a half all the way up to five inches of rain in parts of North Georgia is a number of river flood warnings. So all of these flood warnings that you see are in response to creeks, streams, overflowing their banks. We likely, as these creeks and streams rise through the day today, will see moderate flooding at least across much of the area. So please be really aware of that. And it may look fun to go jump in and see what you can do with, but I'm telling you the currents in these creeks and streams can be so incredibly fast that it'll sweep you away. So just stay away from it and be careful. We also officially have a wind advisory with all the cleanup that's going to be going on today. Wind is not something that you necessarily need, although wind advisory, yes, in name, but the winds are going to be blowing at about 10 to 15 miles per hour as we move through. The wind advisory expires by this afternoon if they don't let it expire a little bit early. Right now, these are about the warmest uh, temperatures that we're going to have today. 63 Chattanooga, 64 in Cleveland, and with the uh, rain and the front moving through, knocking the pollen out of the air, so pollens will be low today, and cooler air is going to be with us this week, so may have trouble uh, seeing those pollen counts get too much higher. I'll call it moderate for Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday. So getting outside, doing some cleanup from the severe storms that move through. It'll be in the low 60s, really slowly cooling. 63 right now will be down to 61 by noon, 60 by 3. 59 degrees by 6 p.m. So a cloudy, breezy start, cool and dry all week. Then we warm up and maybe a shower or two this weekend. Now we're looking at our radar imagery and that front still holding together fairly well. Now it's well east of our area, but look at all of those severe weather and tornado watches that are still in a warnings rather that are still in effect along that line. Meanwhile, we're looking at rain moving through Nashville. I think all of that will stay away from us and won't bring us any additional rainfall and Vipercast backs that up with partly cloudy skies and no more rain today. So getting after our Tuesday, it will be another good cleanup day for you as you're trying to uh, get things back to some semblance of normalcy on Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. I don't think we'll in Thursday. I don't think we'll see any rain at all. Uh, maybe a few clouds and that'll be it. Thursday, we will start to warm up a little bit. Now it's going to be in the low to mid 60s today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. It'll climb into the upper 60s and then even into the low 70s by Friday. No rain in the forecast through this week. So breezy this morning and then temps slowly dropping as we move through the day. Winds out of the northwest 5 to 15 miles per hour. Low 60s uh, in the valley this afternoon will have a high of 55 degrees. It's actually going to cool down to 55 degrees this afternoon. So clear skies, cool and crisp, uh, nice and uh, cool in Chattanooga, 42 degrees. But a lot of folks will be in the mid to upper 30s in some of the outlying areas and our storm alert seven day forecast. Breathe a sigh of relief. Very uneventful through the week. Uh, warming a little bit. 68 Thursday, 72 Friday. And then we'll add in a, maybe a few showers Saturday, Sunday with highs staying in the low 70s.